Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day, bringing you the latest updated tale reading. In this reading, we're gonna get you some important messages that you need to hear right now. Today is the twentieth of February, twenty twenty-four. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, is five forty-four p.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get my readings. Get your reading started. <laughs> Most of Virgo, by the way, but it's for you, for us, all of us, okay? Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo important messages that Virgos need to hear right now. Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field. And this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Thanks for being here, Virgo. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What I'm picking up on here is Virgo. The high persists indicates secrets, right? Your friends or people close to you or people on your social media, if you have social media, they secretly aren't very happy for you, okay? Because the Ten of Cups here is in World first. But on the outside, see the black uh, pillar is pointing towards the left. And then the white pillar is pointing towards the Ten of Cups here. So, and again, the high persist indicates secret. So you may have people who secretly aren't happy for you, okay? And it feels like these are the people who are close to you. And Ten of Swords, now on the outside, they seem happy. On the outside, they seem to want to celebrate your achievement. Um, for some Virgo, whatever achievement it could be, it could be something small, it could be something big. Um, for example, um, I noticed recently when I told a friend that, oh yeah, I'm seeing this guy right now, blah, 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 and he's taking me out on Valentine's Day. You could tell from the tone, I could tell from the tone of her voice that even though when she said, oh, that's, you know, yeah, that's good, da, da, da. But I could tell like she wasn't genuinely happy for me, right? But, and also um, she started asking me to like meet up with her when she already knew that I was gonna go on a Valentine's date, right? Um, yeah, I'm just giving you an example. It could be something small like that, but it could also be huge achievement in your life. Maybe you make more money, maybe you're more popular, maybe, you know, it could be anything. And the Ten of Swords, I feel like there's somebody here in your energy field whom could be actually very down, feeling very down because of your success. Bear in mind, Virgo, my readings can go vice versa because this is a general reading. But if you don't want a vice versa general reading, you can book me for an accurate personal reading just for you, okay? Now, the Ten of Swords here for me indicates that this person could be feeling really low, really sad about your achievement. But some of Virgo, you may also, if it's vice versa, then you could be feeling low about somebody else's success, okay? And Nine of Swords, because some of you Virgos may be very hard on yourself as well, okay? But that's just for like 10% of you, okay? We've got the King of Wands. Could be this individual, doesn't matter, he or she is not gender specific, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and Four of Cups is this sulking energy. Why don't I have what Virgo has? But it could also, if this is a romantic situation, someone could be sulking because you're happy and you're dating or that you have gotten into a relationship. And that's because they, they have romantic feelings for you, right? Two of Cups right here. Now, Two of Cups, it could be a romantic connection, but could also be a friendship connection, okay? Or sibling. Um, we've got the King of Pentacles right here and king of pentacles is your energy um it's masculine but doesn't have to be okay we all have both masculine and feminine energy but it just means that if you're feminine you have a female 
It just means that you're, you're wearing the pants, right? You're successful. And I definitely see somebody secretly hiding the fact that they aren't happy that you are successful. Now, it may not just be friends, okay? I've been in relationships where my ex or exes would actually be jealous of my success. I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story here. Um, I think I've told this story once before, so, but, you know, who knows? There are new viewers who haven't heard about the story of this story before. So I had this ex-boyfriend and um, he got jealous of me, right? Because um, he's not from here, he's not from my country he's from another country so um of course he's from another country this is my country and of course i know more people and i've already established myself in my country friendship wise work wise and whatnot and he said to me one day that you know um i'm not happy that every time whenever we go out um people will be so happy to see you and go like Hey, Chelsea, blah, blah, blah. And I'm always being introduced as Chelsea's boyfriend, right? Even my friends became his friends, but he wasn't satisfied because, because um, he said it's, they are not the friends that he made himself. They were my friends. So, and also on top of that, if I was to, because um, we were living together, but if I was to bring like a few things that my mom framed for me, like my achievement certificates or pictures, magazines, whatever that I appeared in, he would, um, he would say like, oh, I don't like to see these pictures. That's so narcissistic. In fact, Virgo, I'm going to, on my, tra my vlog channel, I, call, I always call it travel vlog channel, but I'm going to change it to like uh, just a vlog channel. I mean... I called it Chelsea Vlogs for a reason because I felt like maybe who knows if I don't want to do traveling vlogs anymore, if I want to do other other things, right, with that channel. So, but anyway, um, he got, and I'm going to tell a lot of stories in, in that channel. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. If not, it's fine too. But I do sense uh, Virgo, it can be anybody, right, for each and every one of you. It feels like uh, these enemies of people who aren't truly happy for you or possibly sleeping right next to you, right? Um, very, very close or best friends, even it could be siblings, right? And then, and also it could be somebody whom you could be separated from because the Ten of Swords can indicate some sort of an ending. So you may have had uh, an, an, an ending with someone romantically and this person deep down may still be very passionate about you. But Virgo, maybe you chose yourself, right? Nine of Pentacles. You chose yourself. You chose your happiness or you chose your independence um, because a lot of Virgos are very abundant. I'm not saying all of you are because we all go through phases in our life and also especially if you're a much younger Virgo, you're still trying to figure life out, right? So I'm not going to box everybody. Uh, I'm, gonna put, I'm not going to put everybody in one box. So we've got the Eight of Cups right here. Feels like you've walked away, right, from somebody here. And these two kings have this, for some reason, I feel like these two kings, because the king of pentacles is your energy, while the king of wands could be the other person's energy. So it feels like both are kings, whether you're a male or female. Some of you could be in a same gender relationship or interested in someone or in uh, the same gender, okay? It could mean that. But if not, <clears throat> excuse me, Virgo, it could actually mean that Again, you're the one wearing the pants while the other person isn't. So there are a lot of, um, how would you say, like deep dissatisfaction or I would say also some sort of competition. But for you, they can't compete with you because, you know, you are the nine of pentacles. You are the king of pentacles. You're stable. You're reliable. And you have 
you are where you are at right now because of everything that you have done, right? And the pentacles are very, very consistent, very solid. You're a solid person. And you may have somebody in your life who isn't as solid as you are. And they start to feel a certain way about you, which I, I think with a high persistence is them keeping this a secret that they actually don't feel good being with you, being connected with you because um, they still feel, they feel like you're better than them, okay? And we've got the nine of wands here in my first. I feel like a lot of you Virgo, again, you're walking away. You just can't, you just don't want to deal with this person or this situation anymore because all it's going to do is bring you down, right? Pull you down. Let's pull out more cards here, Virgo. Let's see more. See, the Hierophant. Virgo, a lot of you are always trying to do the right thing, right? It could be a good thing. It's, it's a blessing and a curse. You're always trying to do the right thing. But then in the end, Ten of Swords, you get betrayed, backstabbed. And the Nine of Swords causes you a lot of stress, right? And a lot of you also end up pouring all of your time and energy into work. The King of Pentacles is right here. And we've got also the two of, cup, uh, two of Cups here. Virgo, I feel like spirits are trying to tell you that you have to meet or connect with somebody who is at your level. It is easier said than done. <laughs> it's easier said than done because we can't control our attraction, how we feel about somebody, right, romantically. And we sometimes kind of blur the lines a little bit. But look, Nine of Cups here is a love verse. Again, someone may feel dissatisfied because we got two nines here. They are discontented with their life, right? Because maybe they're comparing you to them. And, you know, there's a saying of like, don't meet your idol. <laughs> don't meet the, your idol because you'll be um, disappointed. Um, but also, you know, I talked about this other, somebody, I feel like Virgo, it, it's that energy where you think you might see somebody as like, whoa, this person is what I want, what I like, da, da, da. When you actually meet them or when you finally share parts of your life with them, you start to see them in a different light. But another thing I'm seeing here, Virgo, uh, for some of you, you know, I'm very aware of, of very, how would you say, I'm very guarded. I'm very guarded when it comes to um, initially, the initial stage is always like, oh, you know, if you just met somebody and they admire you, uh, they like you for whatever you do. And then as time goes on, and as you guys get closer and closer, they start to um, feel insecure, right? And it's that, okay, for, it's, it's that energy where the closer you get to a person, with a person, and the more you share your happiness or achievement with them, the more they feel entitled for it, even though they did nothing, right? Like that Selena, is it her, is her name Selena, that Mexican singer? where her fan, she hired her fan, and then they become really good friends. Um, it, w it was her biggest fan, and she thought, oh, you know, she wouldn't do me wrong because she loves me so much. She's my biggest fan. So she hired her to be her assistant or something, but eventually, what did she do to her? She unalived her, right? So. I feel like for some of you, it could be something like that in this, in today's reading, in this reading right now, because we're just asking, you know, important messages. So it can be anything to me. I'm just freestyling. All right. We've got the Ace of Cups here in my first, like a cup that was full, that was romantic. It was nice. It was giving. And then now it isn't anymore. It just didn't take off. Okay. Look, five of swords in love first, a very competitive energy where I feel like for some of you, Virgo, you don't even want to, or specifically saying, don't even have to 
deal with them, don't even have to address it, right? Just walk away from it and keep quiet with the high priestess here because it helps with your sanity, it helps with your peace. With the Hierophant now, Pentacles, Spirit's going to be saying to have faith that everything you have done for yourself, um, who you are is, uh, intrinsically as a person, you know, you, you actually should be proud of yourself, okay? Who you are as a person, which I feel like most Virgos are super kind, Hierophant and Anna Pentacles, um, have faith that you know, um, that these people are going to learn their lessons um, in time, but it could also be you learning lessons and understanding or understanding or it, it's also, or also recognizing red flags. You be red flags because as you are more experienced, uh, wiser, you tend to be able to tell who is your friend or who, who would be worthy of your time, your energy, right? Romantically or platonically. Um, but I do see there is someone where, again, the Ace of Cups and Mothers connection, romantic connection that didn't take off, right? I feel like this person could be stressing out, feeling really bad um, because here you are, you are the Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Hierophant here. You are stable, right? You're a giver. You are, um, you got your ducks in a row. Well, maybe they don't have their ducks in a row and that they need you, right? So this person may not be too happy about that. This could be, uh, I still feel like some of it, it's not, it may not totally be like a romantic connection. It could be a friendship. But for those of you Virgos, if you're single, now Pentacles can in case singlehood. You might get into a relationship with the Two of Cups and the King of Pentacles here. If you're open for it, if not, then that's on you, okay? And But also at the same time, Virgo, I see you with the High Priestess, Ten of Cups, and Mothers because of all the experiences, everything that you've been through in your love life. You're a little bit more um, wary about if this connection could be something that is long lasting, okay? But it could also be Spirit's way of, with the high process here, of collecting um, information, right, about somebody, just keeping quiet, being calm, and see where this goes. And also, of course, recognizing the red flags because you're very experienced. For some reason, the Hierophant makes me feel like the universe has your back, okay? Sometimes we get into a situation because perhaps these are the lessons we need to learn from, right? And it's not entirely um, a bad thing, all right, Virgo? This is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And I don't have, I, I have most people telling me that I'm very, very accurate. And also, um, for those of you who don't know, I do have a main channel. It's called Chelsea Love Tarot. I usually live stream on that channel as well as um, doing all 12 signs, 12, 12 individual signs. Uh, weekly prediction reading go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you want to and don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time i post your videos which is every single day take care virgo i love you guys bye